Hi guys, it's your science teacher here, back with another video. This time I'm going to go over the whole topic of respiration. Animals and plants alike need respiration. Plants use the energy from respiration in order to uh, take up mineral ions from the ground, which is so important in order to be able to grow. Whereas animals uh, use the energy from respiration in order to keep their body temperature at a constant. Remember, we're warm blooded, uh, so we need to keep our body temperature constant. Uh, and that means that our enzymes in our body can, can work all the time. If our body temperature dropped too low, uh, then, then that would be incredibly bad. Also, we use the energy from respiration for all the muscles in our body. Just think about it, you're still using muscles even when you go to sleep. You still require respiration because your heart is beating. Your heart requires lots of muscles around it and you need energy to keep it beating. But whatever the function of respiration, respiration always occurs in the mitochondria. And a mitochondria is a specific organelle found in both plants and animals alike. Now the amount of mitochondria found in a specialised animal or plant cell will often tell you the role of it. Whether it requires lots of energy, for example like muscle cells or sperm cells, or whether it doesn't require so much energy. Think about like xylem or skin cells. Mitochondria is perfectly adapted for its role. It has a large surface area uh, for enzymes that need to be around it and surround it in order for these reactions to take place. There are two types of respiration, aerobic uh, respiration, which occurs when there is plenty of oxygen in the air and anaerobic respiration as well. Aerobic respiration is favoured by your body. The reason why it's favoured is because it produces lots of energy. And the word equation for aerobic respiration is simply oxygen plus glucose and that goes to uh, water and carbon dioxide. And I'm not going to do uh, the balanced symbol equation. I did that in my photosynthesis video. It's just completely the opposite of that. The other type of respiration is called anaerobic respiration, and this occurs where there is not enough oxygen. Now, this could occur... Uh, if you are exercising strenuously or even if you walk up a really tall mountain. Now, uh, anaerobic respiration makes different products uh, to aerobic respiration. Uh, it converts glucose into lactic acid. Now, lactic acid is that stuff which makes your bones ache. So you can sometimes feel that after exercise. Um, and it takes time for that lactic acid to be broken down. That's called oxygen debt. That is the amount of time needed to break down the lactic acid in your body. Uh, when you react oxygen with the lactic acid, it breaks it down. Now, anaerobic respiration is far less efficient. It doesn't create as much energy as anaerobic, uh, as aerobic respiration. In plants, in fact, it has a different word equation as well, um, and it converts the glucose into ethanol and CO2. Um, and this is what's actually used in the fermentation industry in order to produce alcohol. They use this equation with yeast uh, in order to produce alcohol. However, it's important to remember that both these processes create energy and they both require glucose as a reactant. As well as anaerobically respiring, your body responds to doing exercise. Often your breathing rate will increase. Now breathing and respiration are different. Breathing is the taking in of air and uh, the giving out of carbon dioxide. Respiration is um, actually the conversion of glucose into carbon dioxide and water with releasing of energy. The reason why your breathing rate will increase is in order to uh, make sure you have enough oxygen so you can respire more. Another response uh, that you will have is your veins and arteries will 
get bigger they will expand this is to allow more blood uh, to travel around the body more blood you can travel around the body this would mean that your your cells can get oxygen faster and respire quicker another response to your body is converting glycogen back into glucose uh, glycogen remember is a store of glucose uh, basically our body converts into glycogen because it's not soluble in water so when your body needs it again it converts it back to glucose so that it can be used and the last uh, body response to exercise is your heart rate increasing you will feel your heart rate increase you can actually put your hands on your chest uh, during exercise and you'll see that your heart rate has increased massively after exercise also your heart rate will stay um, quite large the reason for this is to get rid of your body's oxygen debt remember it wants to convert that lactic acid back into carbon dioxide and water and get rid of it from your body your liver plays a massive role in repaying your oxygen debt Remember, your oxygen debt is created by the buildup of lactic acid. And what your bloodstream does is it carries the lactic acid to the liver. And what the liver does is it converts that lactic acid back into glucose. And when it is inside the liver, what it will do is it will um, use that glucose for aerobic respiration and uh, make water and um, carbon dioxide. Once all that lactic acid has been used up uh, with the liver, um, then you have completely paid off your oxygen debt. If you sum up all the reactions that go on in the body, um, then that describes the metabolism. And the metabolism is simply all of the reactions going on in your body. And as we have seen in the respiration topic, we have looked at aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration, and the repaying of oxygen debt, converting that lactic acid back to glucose. And as you can see, the metabolism is a lot more complex than you maybe once thought. There is lots of reactions going on in your body. Now that is the end of the topic of respiration. I hope you liked the video. Remember, if you did like the video, please drop it a like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all the latest content.